Hello everyone and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. We have another 3v3 for you guys today. I am teaming up with Grim Reaper and I Hate Helos, both friends of the channel and often well, common sparring partners. And today, it's a short game, but the reason that I thought it might be interesting is because it goes to something that I've really been struggling with, uh, just learning the game and trying to get better at it, which is openers. Openers are challenging, they are tough, you have to plan your own, and you have to account for your opponents, and, well, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. So, sometimes you can have this plan that seems really good, and then all of a sudden, it just gets crumpled and flattened, and, uh, well, there's another example of this I might put up on the channel soon, where it was my opener that gets absolutely crumpled by a really, really good um, South African captain, but... For right now, it is the other team that's going to be sort of on the receiving end, and particularly in Delta. So, I hit Hulos is moving up, and Fuchs Milans and all of that are going to be very quick. He's playing a Eurocore deck, which is notorious for having quick motorized elements. Tornado Bomber also coming in, trying to get a nice shot there on the MI4Ts. Maybe not what I would have done. I think maybe a misclick as well. Probably could have been bombing, well, trying to bomb those MI4Ts. But, you know, we have a bit of plane sparring here, and then... Caden, one of the other players, you can see his reinforcements moving up, the SPWs and the Scope 2As, they're quick, but Helos is already in Delta. His infantry are going to be there in just a hot second, and the difference here could have been a slight delay in clicking fast move off the start, right? So, so this is something Blitzwar always says as well, or at least I've seen him say it a couple of times, heard him say it, I guess, is just get everything moving, all right? And if you're a little slow on that and your opponent's a little quicker, that 50-50 goes to your opponent. In this case, it went to Helos instead of Caden. And this is going to be absolutely bone-crushing. So just watch the Scotes trying to move across, and the SPWs trying to move across as well. It looks like an attack move there at the last second, maybe a bit of a questionable decision there. But the SPZ looks opening up, and Deckensgruppe as well. And that's just going to smash into the Scot 2 A's. It's also going to be really effective against Komandosi in the open. They're stunned. They're getting taken down, I mean, 3 HE or so per shot off the Deccan's Grupa, down to 9 strength before they can even get anywhere. The other ones, the Grenzer, and the triple stack on the other side of the woods, just absolutely wrecked by SPZ Looks and Fuchs Milans, and there's the Surrender. So, right off the bat, this opener was intended to be one thing, it really didn't work out that way, and then a player's gone. And so now if you're the if you're the Red Four team, there's two people sitting against three. They now have to deal with somebody else's units that were pushed up poorly, and no offense to Caden for that, but as it turned out, that was just not the best engagement. And there's an overwhelming presence now for us in Delta. It's gonna be a hard time shaking us out of that, if at all, which is often the deciding factor on this map, as it's the only middle zone, I guess. And well, now you're micro-stressed to do it as well, because two players versus three, so not as good individual focus on any one part of the map. In addition, there's still more aggression coming in. I hate Helos. This is ironically pushing up a couple of Puma Cassiopes. There's some Vamps moving across the river. There's Stralza that shouldn't be spotted. That is a Conqueror's M vehicle that's very fragile and is already spotted as well. And then, in a bit of a, a sort of rude decision on our part. We have artillery going in, so Israeli Cardones, I'm of course playing Israel, kind of forgot to mention, but I don't know, they've been growing on me recently and I'm trying to sort of learn those units a bit better. Cardones firing in on Foxtrot. If you look, Charlie, Foxtrot, and Echo have not been capped. I'm not really sure why. I think when he when he quit, I think that Caden's CV was still, it was an infantry CV that wasn't deployed, but backline units getting killed by an AMX-10 a couple helicopters trying to help out the SG-25K, getting some very nice fire in, admittedly. But we've capped Hotel already, Golf, Kilo, Juliet will be capped soon. We've been ticking out a plus four for a while, and this just has to be one of those games where if you were Caden's allies, you're going, well, shit, <laughs> you know? Uh, so I've, I've, I've been in games like this. I don't think I've ever surrendered that early, but I've certainly wanted to before, and it can be very difficult to be the teammates that are left behind. So, I don't know. I mean, good air engagements here, right? So they did kill some of my allies' units there. F4F KWS is going to come in and get a couple of kills of his own, including on a PU, which is just crushing. Uh, sorry about the sirens, but <laughs> once again, city life. And getting a couple more kills before getting out. So that KWS here trying to gun run a make. <laughs> Look at that. Does he get him? 
Yeah, okay. So this tells you a couple of things as well. It tells you that there's virtually no air defense in Charlie. And if we take a look at neutral, yeah, so it was an infantry CV that just wasn't unloaded, and then it was given to somebody else who didn't know it was there necessarily. Token force here, a couple of helicopters that are getting engaged by a Mistral team from I Hate Helos, and that's going to be more than enough to save the Krotal and to take down those expensive attack helicopters. And then Foxtrot has only a token force. Echo has a fair bit, but it's really out of position, so the Conqueror's team's out of position, and this just looked to me like it was a team that was scrambling to make up for that opener, and it's been six minutes, right? That's a significant portion of the game. A fair number of games, you know, they'll go 10 minutes, 20 minutes, some will go 40, yeah, but if it's an asymmetrical first engagement, it won't usually tend to be that way. And then I was getting some mortar fire up, and this was a lot of fun, so let me just show you guys uh, this. I decided, you know what, let's be very nice people and try to kick them while they're down. So. A little bit of smoke trying to block off Foxtrot, and then also trying to deal with these KPZs that I didn't want to have to... I didn't want to have to, have, have to avoid those Bastion ATGMs, particularly if I'm attacking into the woods here, because they might be able to get some nice angled shots. So we are going to be extending the smoke field over to the right as well, trying to block off line of sight there, while a Nagach 7C Gimmel is pushing across. And yeah, it's just a single Nagach. It's 100 points. If I lose it, that's fine. If it gets some nice kills, that's fine. Yeah, there's no scouting. But, you know, Ram Reki is trying to make up for that. And then I think I actually called in some infantry in Anyafas and a couple more in Oxirites. I wish I'd called them in um, in faster vehicles, but uh, it was here in the moment kind of thing. And we find Morskaya Pechota. Immediate reverse probably saves the tank as Morskaya got shot a little bit. And the Ram Reki, this is an intentional trade. I'm moving him up so that he'll eat the Morskaya's RPG if anything does. And there it is, aimed, fired, killed the Ram Reki, but my Magach is getting out, reversing across the open field. Artillery coming in, stunning the KPZs, and more smoke trying to make a wall there as my Anyafa. I mean, this is not a play I would have made if not for seeing how light their air defense was in Charlie. I assume maybe that it was a common flaw. And there's an attack helicopter moving up, that kind of panicked me a little bit, but if these guys can get into the town, Magach 7C and Shayatet against Spetna's screw, will be kind of okay, and yeah, I mean, weapons jammed here was pretty shit, and I do nearly lose the Magach, but Ram Reki moving up, I need something to deal with that Mi-24D, but frankly, he's not getting that great fire in, and Machbet comes up, saves the day. Shaita are now going to be able to get into the woods, they should be more than a match for Morskaya, even a little bit danger, uh, damaged as they are, and the KPZs have no consistent line of sight because of the smoke wall on the right-hand side, and yeah, Couple shots of the Ram Reki, but my Magach is still fine while his weapons are jammed. My Oxirites are not going to have a ton of fun here, but if I can just get them across and then unload, that might be worth something. Too many targets for the KPZs to reasonably shoot, and I don't know, if I could get some sort of uh, support up here. We have a PH2 Tiger, bombers are coming in from the enemy team, but this just looks like it's going from bad to worse, right? And the MiG is taken down, which that pays for itself pretty well. Yeah, I lost a lot of Rovait and Oxirites, but one plane down, two planes down, even the PU is probably not going to make it out, or maybe he does? No. PU's killed, just tons of losses in the air, and that is going to be enough for the, I believe, Chinese player to surrender, and pretty soon enough for all the enemy team uh, to surrender. And this just really goes to show, sometimes you can make mistakes at the start that, I don't know, I... My own openers are not great. If you guys are ever watching these videos and you have comments about how to improve those, I'm all ears because for every game that, that's like this, I have one where I'm on the receiving end. And uh, sometimes I show those, I'll show one again I think in a couple days, um, sometimes I don't just because, I mean that game, it's not the most riveting for me anyway. It's kind of like, oh hey, yeah, that one engagement made the difference and everything else is just capitalizing on it, which can be fun to watch, but asymmetrical encounters are never really going to be um, that fair in this game, just kind of how it, how it works. Once you have inferior fire support and inferior recon, oh, gonna be a hard time. So in terms of kills, losses, uh, pretty good all around for the Blue 4 team. 855 to 295 for me, just because of that aggression there at the end. Uh, Grim Reaper did pretty well. I think he took a couple of plane losses, and I hate Hulos had that very nice opener uh, at the very start. Caden, 0 and 120, and then an immediate quit. And it was a thousand point opener. There was no real reason to do that, I guess, but 
confidence is key sometimes. So, yeah. Well, in terms of units that did well, uh, Barak 2 did pretty nice. Two kills on planes and the God 7C Gimmel got a flat calm tour right there at the very end of the game. A little bit hard to see, but able to take that out. And yeah, that's all we've got. So, a uh, bit of an oddball, bit of a unusual tone for me. I uh, will try and be a bit more positive with it moving forward, but I don't know. This one just... They got me thinking, and I wanted to share those thoughts. So that's all we've got for you guys today. Thank you all for hanging around, and we'll see you again real soon.